Hi everyone, I'm Lottie. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do Pilates. We're gonna do it with the Pilates ring or the magic circle, which is sometimes known as. And so I know not everyone is gonna have one of these, but lots of you do because you've actually been requesting this um, routine. They're really easy to get. They're quite inexpensive and a nice little piece of equipment to have for your at-home workouts um, that we're all doing at the moment. Um, and it's, yeah, really fun, lots more kind of toning, strengthening, but also really helps you feel a little bit more connection kind of all around, all through the body. So we're just gonna have fun with it today. Let's begin, we're gonna do a full body workout with the Pilates ring. So let's come down onto our backs to begin with. And we're going to, oh, sorry, the zip in my leggings just dug into me. You know, sometimes it does that. So we're gonna put the ring between the thighs to begin with. We're gonna find our nice neutral pelvis. So we want about, we wanna start off with like 1% squeeze. So you're never kind of completely at zero. You've got a little bit of a squeeze, just a little bit. Nice long back, long neck, lengthen onto the mat. So we're gonna inhale. Nice deep breath in, as we exhale, we slowly squeeze the ring. So we go like 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%. So you're kind of building up, not to 100, but just to like 60. And then we reach it back to one. Okay, and we've got 10 of these. So long neck, draw the belly button to the spine. We are gonna feel those inner thighs, but we're not going to compromise anything else for just trying to pump through it. So we've still got that lovely Pilates work and alignment. Nice deep breath in to the sides and back of the ribs, slowly squeeze in. So we're kind of gradually squeezing in through the thighs. My knees will sort of come to about in line with my hips. I find this, uh, the inner thigh, the, the magic circle exercise is really hard. <laughs> I get so tired and they, my inner thighs just absolutely burn. Um, which is a good thing. So it's a really good to work. Then let's do five more. Nice deep breaths, three. Sink the back of the ribs down. Two. Long neck. I can already feel it. This is gonna be so hard, last one. And now we're going to go into a pelvic curl. So we're going to squeeze the ring. Knees in line, we're gonna peel up through the back. Keep those knees reaching forwards, keep squeezing that ring. Peel it down, keep squeezing, keep squeezing that ring. And then gently release it away. That release feels so good. And we've got again, squeeze the ring. Reach the arms down, roll up, peel the back. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze the bottom, ribs in and keep squeezing as we roll down, maintain that squeeze and release. I wonder how many times I say squeeze in this video. <laughs> so we're gonna peel up, peel down, still try and get that articulation. I know it's gonna start to really feel work through the inner thighs and the legs and the glutes, but try and still focus on that lovely mobility, that articulation through the back. Reach through those arms, long neck, and release. We've got two more, so we squeeze, push into the ball of the big toe, roll up, reach the knees forwards, roll down, and release. Try and, um, this is something to think about, try and make sure you're squeezing evenly with both legs. So sometimes we have like a stronger leg that likes to go more than the other. So quite a good one to notice if you are kind of working one leg more than the other. We're gonna hold it up on this next one. So hold it there. We've just got 10 little pumps. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll it down. Ooh. And release. Good, let's take the ring and give those inner thighs a little release. So nice when you take it out. So we're gonna use it as like a little, to help us with some curl up. So we're gonna spin it around that way. So you've got the padded edge and the padded edge is gonna come behind the back of your, my ponytail's in the way, the back of your skull. So not your neck, not too high. It might come off, but just try and kind of get it right at the base of the skull. Both hands are gonna come one on top of the other on the other pad. And we're gonna do our curl ups here. So we're gonna nod the chin Keep the neutral flat pelvis, curl the tips of the shoulders up. So try not to pull on the ring, keep the head pushing back into the pads and then down. 
And then we go again, exhale, little curl up, draw the navel to the spine and come down. So just a little nod of the chin, but then try and keep the head heavy in the pad. So we use the abs. You might feel the arms start to work here and then come down as well. So that's fine. We've got exhale to curl up, deepen into the abdominals, inhale to come down. Four more. Three. Two. On the last one, we're going to hold it there. We're going to flip the ring from behind the head, keep the curl up. We're going to pop it onto the right leg, bring the right leg up, put both hands on top of the ring, and we're going to do little pumps. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, abs in, three, two, one. Now take the ring, reach it to that right side, reach it across and pump into the ring here. Keep reaching on that diagonal for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now float the left leg away. We've got crisscross with the ring, reaching across, reach across, reach across. Try not to rock through the pelvis, reach forward through the ring, really up and over. Use that ring to reach further. We've got four, we've got three, reach high, two, we've got one. We come back to the center, and we hug the knees, use the ring to come down, go back behind the head, we're gonna do another little set. Whoop, I've lost it, lost the ring, there we go. And we're going to go again. So we've got the little curl up, so then we've got the pump. So we're gonna come here, we're just gonna do four, just to get into that lovely flexion. So we need to think about the back of the ribs getting longer, lift that chest, try not to pull on the head, and inhale down. And exhale, back of the neck long, keep it heavy as we curl up, shoulders down and come down. Try not to tense your hips, try not to tense your thighs, no rocking in the pelvis. <sighs> Relax the jaw. So on the next one, we hold it there. We unhook the ring, bring it to the left thigh or the other thigh that you were on. We've got 10 pumps, 10, nine, eight, seven, tummy in six, five, neutral pelvis, four, three, two, one. We reach it across to that left side. We do little pumps on that ring for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We float the right leg up, you're there. We change and change, reach across. Use those lower abs, use those obliques. Keep reaching into that ring. Let's go four and three and two and one. Good job, hug it in, relax the head. Oh, that feels good. Okay, so. We're gonna bring it around the outside of our thighs now. So legs go through, feet come down. We're gonna go into a bridge. We're gonna work the glutes and we're gonna work the outer thighs as well. So we've got the padded parts on the ring. Sometimes it gets a bit wonky, so try and get it even. Find that nice neutral pelvis, long neck. We're gonna bridge up. So we're gonna push out a little bit. We're gonna bridge, push out, and then come down. Bridge up. Push out and down. Bridge up, push out and down. Ooh, here we go. Six. Long arms. Five. Down. Four. Push down. Three. Push down. Keep that core a little bit engaged. Two. Squeeze bottom down. On the last one, we hold it up there. We're going to just push out with the right thigh for 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, gather the ribs, four, three, two, one, push out with the left for 10, nine, just the left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, repeat that, or right leg extends away, and we pump for 10, little out, nine, outwards, eight, stabilize, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. That foot comes down, left leg goes out. We press out for eight, seven, just the left, six. Five, four, three, 
two and one. We bring it down and we lower those hips. Shake it out a little bit. Well done, guys. Take the ring around from your feet. Let's roll up. So let's put the um, ring around the right foot. Left leg is going to come down. Just take a little hamstring stretch to begin with. So give yourself this. The ring is so nice to use for this. So if you just buy, if you just get this ring just to do this, then I feel like you'll be happy because it makes a big difference <laughs> to trying to hold your leg. So give it a little stretch. Release the tailbone down. Use those nice deep breaths. And we're going to just roll ourselves up. So we're going to nod the chin. Now, the ring is great for this. We push the foot away into the ring. We find that little bit of traction. We scoot through the tummy. We roll ourselves up. And we're up to sitting. And the leg is stretched down. We have a nice straight back. We're going to go back again. Lift that right leg. Start to roll down. Tip the pelvis under. Down through the center of the spine. Give that hamstring a little stretch. Okay? Let's cross change legs. So the right leg goes down, feel that stretch again. Shoulders away from the ears. And we're going to roll up. So we nod the chin, we push in. So you're trying to push the foot forwards. Find that little bit of traction as you tip up, tip up, tip up, tip up, and sit tall. Good work, guys. Take that ring and we're going to put it between the ankles. We're going to do some rollbacks here. So it's going to go flat ways and we're going to give it a little squeeze and we're going to flex the feet. So nice and tall. I feel those inner thighs working already. Now, the, what I like about using the ring here is that it kind of keeps our legs really working with these roll ups and downs. So something that might help us a little bit. So first of all, find that lovely C curve. Tailbone under, shoulders over your hips. Roll it down. So imagine you're kind of creating the shape of the ring. Keep reaching through the legs. Keep squeezing the ring. Try and keep the legs where they are as you roll down. Arms reach back. And we come up. Keep squeezing the ring. Reach through the heels. Draw the navel in. Push through the low back. Reach all the way up. And reach through that spine. Curving up and over. All the way through the center. Reach, 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 reach. Good. And come back up to sitting. Okay. And again, round. Shoulders over the hips, squeeze the ring, squeeze it, squeeze it, keep going all the way down. Oh, try not to be wonky, reach the arms back. Now, when your arms reach back, remember, I spoke about this in other routines, that we don't let those ribs stick out, keep them gathering in. We lift up, curl, reach the feet, squeeze the ring, roll up, reach forwards, big spine stretch all the way. Oh, that feels nice on that back. And then let's restack. Good, let's take the ring from there. Pop it down in front of you. Turn it so that you've got the padded part down on the floor. We'll just take a little spine stretch forward. So we will just push in, exhale, reach into the ribs. And come back up on a little diagonal. And again, push the ring down, exhale, pull the ribs back. Inhale, release. So it's kind of like a little ping up again but with control exhale push down pull the tummy back ribs back bend through that thoracic spine and release it up now really work that back extension let's do one more and release it lengthen 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 and well done guys we're going to come on to our all fours we're going to be working into the glutes. Now this one, sometimes the ring likes to ping away. So we're going to see what happens. But what the idea is that we're going to do is we're going to pop it between the ankle and the just below the bottom. So it, you, want to, you want to make sure that you keep it kind of, um, see, look, it wants to pop up. But you can get a good little hook like there. I think I've got it. So what you're going to do is you're going to try and get it hooked between your heel and your butt just below your bottom. So you create that little bit of traction, navel to spine, you lift the leg, and then you're just squeezing in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, that is such hard work. Now bring the knee down, take the ring, and you're going to reach it out in front of you on a little diagonal. 
and you're going to push it down there for 10, 9, engage the core, 8, 7, shoulders down, 6, keep pushing away, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, hold it pushing down, extend the other leg out, other leg reaches out, push away and lift that back leg up and down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, work that right side that we just worked, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bring it back. Good, other side. Let's just sort this little ponytail out. So coming on to the other side, we are going to get that ring hooked. Now, you have to find a good point because it can jump away. So we're going to pop it between the ankle and the bottom. Oh, that feels like it's hooked in there. It takes practice, this. So we're going to squeeze in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep lifting, 4, ribs in, 3, tummy in, 2, wow, I can feel the glutes so much, last one, now we're going to bring that leg down, we're going to take the ring out on that diagonal on that left side, try not to twist, and we're going to push it down for 10, 9, keep that stability, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, lift that chest, two, hold for one, extend the right leg away. So you've worked both hips now, navel to spine, we lift the back leg, 10, nine, eight, reach away, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it in and relax, good. Okay, oh, you are hard work, this ring. So let's come to a kneeling position, we're gonna do are over the edge with the ring. We've got two options here. So I'm gonna give you both modification option and then the more advanced option. So the first one, you're gonna put the ring to the side. We're gonna step the other leg out the way out to the side and we're gonna do a little side bend, push into the ring and come up. So you're still working through the waist. The ring is reaching away, you do a little push and you come up. Now that's the first option. The second option, keep that leg where it is. The ring goes above the head and we do a side bend and then come up. Sam does this every morning, this exercise. It's really hard. <laughs> okay, so let's do four more or whatever option you're going for. Four, inhale, exhale to lift up. Think tall, shoulders down, three. And lift, gather those ribs, two. And lift, you don't have to go far, you wanna feel that work, last one and bring it on up, good, other side. So you can pop the ring down, the leg goes out, and you can go into your press, got that little bit of extra support, which feels really nice. And we come up, but you're still working hard. Pull the hips forwards, ribs back. Just make sure it's supported. And if you wanna try the full version with the ring above the head, you can try that, we've got four. Pull in. Think front and back coming together. Don't go, don't go forwards, don't go back. Just straight to the side. Three. Lift tall. Two. Working through that waist. Push the hips forwards. Last one. And lifting on up. And relax it down. Good. We have got one last exercise to do for your shoulders, for your arms. We're going to stay in kneeling if you can. If there's too much in kneeling, you can stand up put some cushions under your knees. We've got the ring behind our shoulder, behind our back. We're holding it, a little bit of a squeeze. I can't really squeeze it that hard here. I've got to keep working on that just to get a little bit of a squeeze. We've just got 10, chest expansion back. Inhale, exhale, grow tall, open those shoulders. Inhale, exhale, try and knit the ribs to the leggings. Eight more, squeeze your glutes, push forward. Eight, grow taller through the crown of the head. Try and squeeze that ring, but not so that it tenses everything. Just a little bit, last five. So it goes behind you, away from you, four. Good job, guys, three. Just changing around. Keep lifting that chest, last two little squeezes. Grow tall, last one, we hold it there, we turn the head left to right. Just keep reaching back, get that lovely mobility through the neck. Open through the shoulders, last one to each side. Ease in through the neck, bring it back and relax. Good, give your shoulders a little roll. 
I knew it all done. So I'm not sure whether you loved or hated that. It's hard work with that ring, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and I will see you again in another Pilates routine soon. Bye.